So first let's drag our image and then just adjust it to your preference. Okay now let's try to remove those uh, both water trails by using a lasso tool. Okay so let's just create a selection here and then let's go over to our layer, right click rasterize layer and right click to the selection and fill leave the default settings and click OK and now it's all gone and let's just do the same thing for this one okay so there is still a remaining one here so we can use another one so we can use clone stamp tool for this one hold the alt key and left click to sample some background image and just paint it over and make sure to use a soft brush to create a smoother effect. And you can also use a pen tool to be more precise. So after creating it, just make a selection, click OK and, and choose the lasso tool again. So that you can use the fill, a right click fill and content aware and there you go. Now we'll just have to clean this up by using a clone stamp tool. So just sample some part here and just use it to paint the messy parts like this. So just press ctrl z. Okay, now we're all done. Let's drag our tiger image. And to be quick, so just let's go to select and let's go to subject. Now it's gonna create a selection to the tiger. So let's just refine those selection by using a quick selection tool and just refine those edges in the selection. Now let's go to select again and let's choose select and mask. Let's just zoom in a little bit. And let's try to increase the radius of the edge so that it gets uh, a little bit smoother. Okay, maybe this one. Maybe let's just use a brush tool so that we can refine the edges more. So let's use the minus sign. So just hold the Alt key in your keyboard and just delete those unnecessary edges. And whenever you want to paint back some more, just release the Alt key in your keyboard so that it returns to plus sign and just paint some of the images back. Okay, now let's create a layer mask. And let's just reposition this one and maybe I'll put it here. And let's just hide this one and let's create a selection to this rock over here. So that the tiger is going to be behind the rock. So yep, let's create a selection by using a pen tool. Ok 
Okay, now press Ctrl J to duplicate this selection. And let's put it above the tiger layer and let's unhide the tiger layer. So now go over to the layer mask and use a brush tool with a black foreground to delete some parts of the tiger. And let's just play with the flow here so that we can make it as realistic as possible. So let's just delete some part here so that it looks submerged in the water. And just like this. And just always remember, use a soft brown brush to create a smoother transition. Okay, now let's create some color balance to this one. So create a clipping mask. Let's just match the color of the tiger to the background. Maybe let's put some cyan and some blue so that it really matches the background's color. So it really depends upon you. So just try playing around with the sliders so that you can get the right color. Okay, I think this looks better. And now let's create some highlights. So let's go to brightness, create clipping mask, and let's increase the brightness. Press Ctrl I to invert the layer mask, and let's choose a brush tool again. And with a white foreground and maybe a flow of about 50%, let's just paint in some highlights to the right side since it is where the light source is coming from. So maybe decrease the flow and just play around with the flow so that you can get better results. And maybe let's just delete some of these dark edges here or black edges. So let's go over to the tiger's layer mask and let's choose a black foreground. Okay, so let's go over to our brightness layer and let's rename it to highlights. And let's put some more highlights. Okay, now time to put some shadows. So let's create an another adjustment layer and then choose your saturation. And then just create a clipping mask and just drag this down. And press Ctrl I to invert the layer mask with a brush and white foreground and maybe lower the flow and paint in some shadows to the left side of the tiger. So just take your time in putting those highlights and shadows because those are the most important things when it comes to photo manipulation. Okay, let's rename this layer to rock and let's create another your saturation layer decrease the lightness Control i to invert the layer mask and let's put some shadows because basically this is already covered by the tiger and maybe let's just use a blend if in this one So just hold the Alt key in your keyboard and split this one into two and just play around until we get a more realistic shadow. Okay, so let's put our original background again and let's use some of the parts there to make the water splash on the tiger's feet. So you can use any selection tool you want. This one I'm just going to use a lasso tool and just press Ctrl J to duplicate the selection. And let's just delete this layer. Okay, so let's rename this one first. And put it below the tiger. Okay, and now just press Ctrl T to adjust the size. And hold Shift key on your keyboard to drag only one side of the image. So just keep on adjusting the size until you get your desired result.
and just hold the Alt key in your keyboard and just drag it to duplicate the layer. And now let's create a layer mask in this one and with a black foreground, let's erase those hard edges. And let's do the same thing for the other one. And you can also lower the opacity if it suits better. So maybe just increase this one. And I think we need to make this one smaller. So maybe just erase some of those edges again by going to the layer mask. Okay, and here for the other one. Okay, I think that looks better. Okay, so hold the control key in your keyboard to select multiple layers and just press control G to group them. And let's do the same thing for the water splash and for the rock. Okay, now it's time to put some shadows in the scene from our tiger. So let's create a selection. Control J to duplicate and just drag it below the tiger. And let's go to our rock layer and create a layer mask. And maybe let's just delete this bottom part here. And let's do the same thing for the tiger layer. Let's just remove this part here. Okay, now let's go back to our shadow in the water. So let's rename this one tiger shadow. And let's create a layer mask. So use a brush tool with a black foreground and just erase these hard edges. Just play around with the flow so that you can get better results and And let's put this one above the water splash group So now it's time to unleash our creative skills So we just need to follow the tiger's position so that we can create some realistic shadows so we need to erase some of the parts here so that it matches with where the tiger is standing. So just take your time to create this uh, shadow so that, it, so that the whole photo manipulation looks better and realistic. Maybe let's go back to the tiger's uh, shadow layer. Uh, maybe let's add some more shadows here so that it matches that of the background, which is a little bit darker. So let's just put some more shadows over here. Maybe erase this part here and just turn this part here a little black, and that looks way better. Okay, so now let's go back to our tiger shadow layer. Okay, now let's use a smudge tool to create those wavy effect. So, just try to be creative on this one and just play around just by uh, dragging this shadow parts here to make it more like it's a shadow in the sea. So just try to create some wavy lines by smudging it. And 
after taking some time off and going back to my work, I realized that it needs more highlights so I added more. And I realized also that the color balance is a little bit off so I just adjusted the color balance and this is the final result. And there you go, we're done with our photo manipulation. So I hope you've learned something from this tutorial and if you do, hit that like button and the notification bell and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on my next video.